You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. Well, this is interesting considering all of the virtue signaling that the NFL has done over the last, what, 24 months with uh, Black Lives Matter, end all racism. Uh, it takes all of us or whatever their social justice campaigns. I've seen their television ads running on uh, TV. ESPN has run an ad uh, involving social justice with a socialist, Harry Edwards, the guy that uh, is sort of Colin Kaepernick's mentor. Seen him on television. Everything Roger Goodell has come out and said. So the NFL got slammed yesterday by an all-time great. A all-time great. Of course, he is a head coach now of Jackson State. It is the great prime time Deion Sanders. Now, of course, the NFL draft's coming up. Pro days are happening. And Deion's like, where the hell are all the scouts at? It's I saw this and was like, why would you not, why would every NFL team not send a scout, at least one scout from every team uh, that would go to one of these? Uh, I was pretty surprised by it because if you look back historically at black colleges and the talent that has come out of there, um, man, if you're looking for even a diamond in the rough kind of guy, there have been some all-time greats come out of these schools, and uh, it makes you wonder exactly uh, what the NFL is truly doing, what these these uh, teams are truly doing while they're out there virtue signaling on behalf of race and making everything about race. Is the NFL truly putting their money where their mouth is? And look, as we've always said with things like this, we think a lot of these campaigns, uh, people they're a bunch of damn hypocrites, okay? They don't, they don't believe behind closed doors the shit that they're virtue signaling, in other words. We've always thought that was crap, right? Um, it's, it's, it's a uh, let's try to do this so we can show, show how virtuous we are to the Twitter mob. And that's, that's a thing. Um, we've seen corporations make decisions around this for years now, especially since uh, Fentanyl Floyd. Let's get to this. This is Michael David Smith over at PFT. Deion Sanders faults the NFL for overlooking HBCUs in the draft. Jackson State coach Deion Sanders thinks the NFL needs to do a better job of recognizing the talent coming out of historically black colleges and universities. Sanders said yesterday at Jackson State Pro Day that while he was pleased to see 22 teams represented, he was not happy that 10 NFL teams did not send scouts to see his players. Sanders also said last year's draft, which didn't see a single HBCU player drafted, was unacceptable. That's not going to happen again. It'll never happen again. I know for the pandemic year we got an excuse, but that's not going to happen again. My desire is 7 to 10 players get drafted this year. And we'll try and double that. Then the sky's going to be the limit, Sanders said on the NFL Network. Sanders said he wants more expo exposure for HBCUs and said that Jackson State spring game will be televised this year. He also said he wants HBCU players, not just Jack Jackson State players, but players from other HBCUs to attend the draft. Quote, I need at least four of our schools and coaches represented. To bring the player they think is draftable, we've got to bring them to the draft because I want the kids to see it. I want them to feel it. I want them to touch it. I want them to witness it live so they can say, quote, I can do that. Sanders said, the NFL Network said, come on, make it happen. Sanders has done an excellent job at Jackson State. Deion Sanders almost got that TCU job. He came very close to getting that promotion up to TCU, winning the SWAC Coach of the Year last year and then stunning the college football recruiting world by convincing Travis Hunter, 
viewed by some as the single best player in this year's recruiting class to spurn Florida State and attend Jackson State. And now Sanders has bigger plans for the way he is going to generate attention for his program and other HBCU programs. Now, uh, let's just take a look at this. Jerry Rice, Walter Payton, Shannon Sharp, Michael Strahan, Richard Dent, Art Schell, Doug Williams, Mel Blount, Deacon Jones, Jackie Slater, Steve McNair. I mean, John Stallworth, Aeneas Williams, the list goes on and on. Robert Mathis, Rayfield Wright, my God, Harry Carson. You would think that the NFL that's supposed to be all about... We are all about skin color these days. All about it. We go on TV. We run commercials. We moonwalk across the stage. We're trying to show everybody how brave, stunning, and courageous we are. And you don't send a representative from every team to pro days? Really? And this is not an issue of skin color as so much as it is There is absolutely talent at these schools, regardless of how the schools are labeled, okay? In other words, you know, the kids, as players, I mean, there's got to be some diamonds in the rough there. And if I'm an NFL team, I've got to scout at one of these things, okay? If I'm looking for a potential diamond in the rough, a third-round guy, wide receiver, that ends up being the next 10,000-yard guy, you've got to be at these pro days. I'm shocked by this. Um, Again, do I think it should be about race? No, but the NFL are the ones that have made it about race. So because Roger Goodell has chose to do that, Roger Goodell, you get your ass called out for not following through. And the fact is, it just tells you the NFL... It's full of shit, okay? They're full of shit. It's nothing but one large virtue signaling marketing campaign. That's all it is. That's all it is. They're, they don't believe anymore what they believed two years ago or whatever. Again, it's all about satisfying the mob, okay? We're going to wave a flag. We're not racist. There's nobody here that is racist at all. See our television ad? Oh, but HBCUs have their pro days. Ten teams don't bother to show up. God, dog, that list is full of Hall of Famers for crying out loud. Jerry Rice? Some think, some think Jerry Rice is the greatest player in the history of the NFL. Even over Tom Brady. Some believe that. You know, I mean, he's... He's definitely the greatest wide receiver of all time. I mean, I think for most people, not my favorite, even though I'm a 49ers fan, but you get the point. Wow. The NFL, once again, full of crap. Not surprising. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.